Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Tuesday morning, 7.44. I am on my way to the airport for this Chicago trip. Yeah, it's just uh, very discombobulating because I'm against my element and my normal flow of things. I had to go through my bags and everything and make sure that, that there were no weapons or anything that could be considered a weapon or anything that would get confiscated that I would be pissed that I lost, things like that. I mean, it's stupid, I think, personally, that, you know, like I can't have a, a multi-tool or even just my little uh, small rig tool because they'll probably take that and that's just too expensive to lose. The typical flying woes and, and me bitching and complaining because I don't want to be up and I don't want to be going on this trip. So that's that. But yes, I did walk out without my wallet. So, you know, my wife was laughing because she pretty much knew that that was going to happen, that I'd forget something. I have my phones, and I, for the most part, I think I have everything that I could possibly need. If I don't, tough shit, because I can't go back now, because I'll be late. All right, I'm going to stop blathering now. I just don't feel like being awake. So I will see you at the airport. All right, totally glad I went the back way. Got here, no traffic. And actually, there are plenty of spots in this lot. Let's go do that check-in thing, because I don't think my online check-in worked. Well, so far, so bad. We've already gotten one delay, and that was for almost an hour. So I've just been sitting here with my thumb up my butt. I guess they're starting to board now, but I'm gonna be getting there pretty late. So it is what it is. I guess it's rainy and shitty there too, so looking forward to that. All right, let's see if we can board this stupid plane. Okay, kids, I made my way from one concourse to the other. Now I can't go back through security to meet them, so I'm just gonna hang out here away from my friends. And then we're going to take the nice, long, slow, rainy Uber probably to this meeting location and go from there. But, hello Chicago, I'm in you. All right, kids, it's been a long ass day and the evening has only just started. I just checked into the hotel because I got here so late because my flight was delayed that I, ha I had to go straight to the conference. So, yay. Now, now that I've checked into my room, I need to go back down because there's cocktails and then I got to eat dinner because I haven't eaten anything other than a blueberry scone this morning and an orange in the conference. So, I'm fucking hungry. All right, let's go do this. Got to be social. It is the final day of this national sales meeting, and last night was as messed up as I expected it to be. Uh, there was an open bar. They took us to this, uh, it was like a live music venue. The band was great, and it was a lot of fun, but when you put hundreds of people together in an open bar situation, things get a little out of control. Not sometimes, all the time and there are people that really shouldn't be drinking. And that's when that comes out. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. So by the time I actually got back here to the room last night, it was, uh, it was almost 11 o'clock. So I had to run around and start packing, basically, to get ready to leave and trying to unwind and relax and had a shower and all that kind of stuff. So I actually didn't go to sleep until after one here, which is after two for me. So I am definitely like, ugh, I'm 
ready for this to be over. I want to go home. I'm hoping that I get the hell out of here on time. However, comma, uh, they are calling for a bunch of snow to start around noon. And my flight doesn't leave until technically 5-ish, 5.30-ish. And I'm hoping that I don't get stuck. And so far, so good. I don't have any delays or any problems. I was able to check into my flight last night. It says it's on time. Let's hope. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Okay, kids, it has been a long freaking three days. This trip home was not without its annoyances, as I figured would be. At least I was finally able to get on the damn plane and it got us back here to the old homestead. We had a bunch of issues on the plane. First of all, we needed to be de-iced. But before we could be de-iced, they had a maintenance problem. They had some kind of warning light or some shit like that. So before they even had anybody come and de-ice us, they had to make us get back off the plane so that they could shut it off and restart it and they didn't want everybody on the plane. So we had to get off after we had boarded and we thought we were leaving. So total cock tease. So we all got off the plane. Fortunately, it didn't take very long, probably like a half an hour, and then they reboarded us, but then we had to wait for fuel. And then once we got fuel, then we had to wait for a plane that was behind us, get the hell out of the way so we could back out. Then we taxied for what seemed forever to get to the place where they de-iced the planes, and we had to be de-iced. Then after that, we finally left. This was my week in Chicago for our national sales meeting. I will be honest, it wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. I still don't like going to them. I still freaking hate flying because of this, but at least it wasn't bad and, you know, got a lot of good news, or potentially good news. I won't know if it's good news for me until all is said and done. So that's it. That's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, 